All right, problem number 25 of section 2.7 asks us to find the 33rd derivative of the function g of x equals sine of x plus cosine of x. Now, rather than sitting and computing derivative, the th uh, 33 different derivatives for uh, each term, so 66 derivatives total, we're just going to take advantage of the fact that the derivatives repeat um, every, every four, meaning that uh, let's look at what happens at g prime of x. The g prime of x, the derivative of sine is going to be cosine of x. And the derivative of cosine is going to be minus sine. Now g double prime of x, the second derivative, uh, will be, well, the derivative of cosine is minus sine. And the derivative of minus sine is minus cosine. Now the third derivative of g will be minus cosine of x and plus sine of x. And if we go on to compute the fourth derivative, we get minus the derivative of cosine of x, or minus minus sine x. So positive sine x plus cosine of x, which if you notice is exactly what we started with. So the fourth derivative of g is actually equal to g of x itself. Now the reason we can take advantage of this is rather than, is, uh, rather than competing the derivatives over and over again, we're just going to be repeating ourselves you know, every four times we take the derivative. So we see that, well, fourth derivative is equal to g of x, so it's you know, the eighth, the twelfth, all multiples of four. So we see the, the 32nd derivative is going to be, well, just g of x. So if we take the derivative one more time, we can see that the 33rd derivative is going to be equal to the first derivative. So... 33rd derivative of g will be equal to cosine of x minus sine of x.